It's A W T I T U D E represented for Lion's Voice. Yes, massive. This is the time for I and I, the Lion them to tell I and I story, our story. Yes, and we rain and roll like this. Rain and roll, yeah. Sell us say I rain and roll. You can't take the lion vibes, people. If you no fool, cause we no sell us the rain and roll. Ah, rain and roll. <coughs> Sell us a rain and roll. Queen Omega chop them in the fire pool from them. No Queen Omega, she rain and roll. Uh, Royal Kushite, ancient essence. Emperor Celestia, in a majestical presence. Clash of all events. Uh, projecting to Iron Eye events. Uh, we sing a song for the king, we bring joy and blessing and we are standing here. We hear it every day. Rain and roll. Yes, I like vibes. Tell us how you know. Attitude to that boondocks. Black organization of global diplomats optimizing expressions to the world. Till the world, till the end. Well, front was a son was born and a child was given. I want to ask you a question. Have you gotten your book? I listen to this Ethiopia Volume One: The Rise of the Priest Warrior King. I've read the book in its entirety and I must say it's very inspirational, very informative and very, very historical, right? Them called him Christopher when he was born, rain fall from the sky. Them called him Christopher when he was grown in near plains he fly. They call him Christopher I young break the chain, weep not, don't cry. Them called him. List of for I read your revelation chapter 5 verse 5 Then Born near the city of Harar The inspiration for Bob Marley's guitar People crowd him like some big superstar It no matter if for England Yeah I um Yeah I got somewhat of a hit song Um early With Roots Underground Um in the Caribbean Um Talk to us about that process. You had video, music video that was well, playing. You know what I mean? Oh, Brad, you that? don't. Yeah. It, that's what I'm not sure. You know, you'd have to probably talk to some man with some hit song in the, that context of a hit. Because what happened with us again, bro, was just a context that that uh, the far I provided for us to take the message on a global scale. Because there was no such context. See me, the context would have been we would have known and not know. Okay, reach a level, we'll buck. <laughs> we'll have to go back now to one of the channels that existed. But then Farai, in his infinite wisdom, put forward the minds of some ones to create this channel called Tempo, which is an, uh, an affiliate of Viacom. So this, this provided a, an ability for us to get to not only the, the, the BET, you have our, our one name, BET J2 which was BT Caribbean channel, right? You remember that? See? Mm -hmm. At the same time, Jamaican abridging of mine, Kimani Robinson and his partners, set up a brilliant thing called RETV. You know what you watch yourself, right? So between RETV, uh, BETJ, and Tempo, which was now the Caribbean MTV, our in the first single from our debut album, Victims of the System, was able to shot to... You know, I would have said skyrocket to number one upon all of them thing there, you know. And then um, we had the privilege of it staying there at number one. It never came off charts, never came off number one. We actually went to New York and, you know, again, Jaggy with the humble glory. So we went to New York and bless up Empress Janelle and Macedon and Quiz and all the crew at this time supporting it. And we retired it straight from number one, almost unheard of in the industry, right? And again, because far I should say, and after four months of number one, let's give others an equal chance to get an opportunity to tour and get their thing to be on number one and also to just try to raise the bar for the next wave and etc. So it, it, it was a mighty full thing, Bridging. And as you can see, you know, I mean, I'm not taking credit for the success of anyone in the music industry, but definitely I would say um, I was happy to encourage many, many young musician from be free to, to become successful. Yeah. What what year was that? What, just for, for, for those who may yeah. not be familiar, what year was that? Uh, about 2005, 2005 or six. 
yeah, 2006. So there wasn't there wasn't a lot of conscious music that time. This was remember I mentioned about the Garnet Silk lol. You know? Yes, Garnet Silk was hitting in like late nineties, early nineties, late eighties. Yeah. It was bubbling, and he unfortunately was assassinated in ninety four. Yes. Then, at that time in ninety four, and this was also my genesis in the roots too, because Garnet Silk was the man who even when we used to go them like young boy party when we were young. When the selector would go from soak or disco or this and play, there is no time to gaze or, you know, or, um, I mean, this was even before that. Sizzler came afterwards. After but, that, yeah. yeah it was, was mid-90s. Christ in his kingly character. Yes, big tune. One of the most formative concerts I've ever been to was Garnet Silk at White River Reggae Bash. Okay, I, I think that's on YouTube. I think that's on YouTube. 1994, one of the best reggae show of all time. And... Yeah, man, when, when Garnet still licked them with the behold, everyone had to behold. <laughs> Archangel. <laughs> wow. The Remember Archangel. Remember me tell you. See, yeah, man. And, you know, but, you know, again, I would encourage all the listeners, if you don't know, this is one of the greatest history of reggae, Garnet Silk. Listen to his tunes and not just his tunes, his interviews and where he's coming from because they assassinated him at age 27. He's one of the few men where I come with the Christ message direct and diluted, you know, and that's why it really got too hot for Babylon. But the, the real thing now is that this creates this genesis and this genesis spur into the rest of the nineties, right into two thousands. And the lull you're referring to now was when, you know, what did really go on now was there was this big thing in the roots world where man did feel like the judgment was going to be 1999. Many, many learned scholar and many, I want, I don't know if I recall it fully. Yes, sir. Now we go down in history as a conspiracy theory and a, yeah, Y2K and all kind Y2K of thing. thing and man, man lose them religion, gain religion, start religion, stop religion. <laughs> no things are going on at the Iowa. Yeah, man, in 2000. That's but when I, and I graduated when, too. Right. See, you know, and I left Howard in '99, right before all of that vibe. So the point being, though, that when them say, "Oh, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof," and those that dwell therein, you know, see, right now, then, instead of the fire get hotter, which we strive for it to be, then fire got down, or went out, because I was like, oh, why 2 k now go on? <laughs> back to the folly. Back, back to the folly again. You see, so, yeah, man, and then, of course, that affects the music, that affects the film, that affects the poetry, that affects the theatre, that affects the industry, that affects the zeitgeist, that affects the news media. See me? That's like I love when, when Midnight they come to the tune and say propaganda news media. See? Him? Yeah. But the original man he is black, he's African. I love it. See? Him? And again, and a, a, a brethren, a brethren ask if they had no um Van Benjamin in the DC days. Oh, that's a whole episode unto itself again, my brother. Lion Pride, you know. Um, I, I wonder if it's the same Lion Pride. I'm an hygiene from yard in the man. <laughs> Lion Pride, big up. But um, <clears throat> yo, I know Vaughn very well from them Iowa, them man. Um, the very first time I met him was at Kaffa House. We were doing his, his Imperial Majesty Earthstrong 1998. Still have the flyer too. See? And Vaughn did forward without midnight, man. At the time, I think they were a midnight ride. Or, uh, you know, just a turn midnight. But he came and did a mystical poem where he, he did the link between Ra, Ja. You remember that poem there? Yeah, man. First, with the meet him, I'm gonna say, Oh, that I'm plays a mad poet in a seat, and then now, so happen now, you know, these things work. By about a couple of days later, we'll go open mic down by Lions Den, um, Adams Morgan. Remember that little club, the underground quasi, yeah. Ooh. And then down there, they have a open mic, there I call that right. And my rest of the seat there, I would just, yeah, man, at the first, need to do a thing and pass the mic, and I'll bridge in. Take it, I wouldn't touch it, but I couldn't believe people have loved it. That was one, and then from this, so now we started to just like you know, you're on campus, you hear of the song, Oh, midnight, I play tonight down uh, Nayala, you know, midnight, I play a uh, cafe house, right? I would just forward. And you know, at the beginning, time and time, I'm still I do all Bob Marley tunes, and you know, yeah, she speaks with simple eloquence, she beauties a troublemaker, them tune there, you know, Ron Benjamin can testify to that. See, and yeah, man, I'm bridging, and years went by when I came to Jamaica, hadn't seen him. And his assistant from DC come check me and bring me a book. 
Khalil Gibran, the prophet. And in the book was a, a, was a cutout from the city paper. See? And on the back of the cutout was an ad for midnight. And I never... Rasta, I don't know how. Mystically, I just never... I call. Even though I used to see them so much. And then, mystically, again, Tempo did a feature in St. Croix. And who do I behold but the great midnight <laughs> live in St. Croix on the TV. I haven't said Jaja. See? And then that was around the same time now. It culminated where we started to tour. And we met them forward again all over the tour. And so many times either were doing tour runs with Midnight or they were on festival with us. And of course, when we're done, first other business is reasoning in for them, Green Room, you know, as always. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That, that was always to try to show all some three bad three, four o'clock where I left left the, the, the venue, you know. And thing and over the years, man, it was just nothing but great jazz. Every time we used to say midnight the party tour, you know, your heart full up. And they were always coming with something innovative and even though we didn't, E minor, A minor, D minor. <laughs> but still infinite innovation, Bridget. Right? Lyrical innovation and spiritual order, you know, literacy exponentially growing. You know the yeah, scene. So. Yeah, even now we still have the for tunes what was written in that Iowa. Yeah man. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you have a good dictionary to deal That's with Van Benjamin. So it was that beautiful. And of course, we got the opportunity to record with him in 2017. And we had planned to do many more, but you know, it wasn't so. So we did a tune called Frontline Hard Drive with, with the great Akebeka Van Benjamin. Yeah, man. And that's miss him a lot. And still my most listened to, him and the Tough Gang, most listened to of my entire musical <laughs> Lion Alag. Alex, we're gonna get on the four seven four four five. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bang it tire. Burn the black kid with them put on Cuba and Zimbabwe. Not rule. Sometimes in a this life you have to go your own way. We pray for me brothers in a Zimbabwe. For me Cuban sisters, I see them and say the Almighty love all of the people same way. We tell Babylon them to open up the gate. Zimbabwe she reclaim her land that's great. We love the way the people in Cuba get educated. Me have to ask them in the West why them are so full of hate. Them eat Mugabe and them eat Castro. Them come with them blockade and them embargo Kaki Astro tell them no and Mugabe tell them go Them want exploit the land and take with the fool Greenwash education and use and mislead the youth Them kill Trayvon and them shoot Martin Luth And millions dead in Nigeria where they and still not make the news Mafia trample Babylon and the Mickey and both Sometimes in a this life you have to go your own way Me pray for me brothers in a Zimbabwe For me Cuban sisters I see them and say the Almighty love all of the people same way. Yeah. We tell Babylon them to the open up the gate. Zimbabwe she reclaim her land that's great. We love the way the people in Cuba get educated. We have to ask them in the West why them are so full of hate. We love all the people at Cuba them educate me. Have to ask them in the West how oh, them are so full of hate. We see them in the West, say them a big hypocrite A full time now, them policies, them a fi switch Them fight against Cuba, them say them a communist Still them trade with China, till China get rich Them no like Zimbabwe, through them reclaim the land Them no talk, say, it was stolen from Africans Say them would buy it back, Ooh. no the Queen of England Them they buy it back, no, seems like it was a scam The people get wise and them start make a stand No government perfect, the Youths overstand, the youth start rise, lend a helping hand. Highly Selassie, I say, all nations are free plans.